first. Uh, I'm sorry. What? What? I was, I was preoccupied. What? My, my speech? I. When you asked me what my speech title was, I said I don't know because I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do a speech. Oh, and, and now I'm. What? What am I going to do? Oh. And you're sitting there, easy on your big chair and just typing away. And me, you know what I've had to deal with this week? You know what's like being me? Space aliens. I had these space aliens that I had to work with. Oh, God. How, how many people here have ever had to work with a space alien? Come on, put up your hands. Every See, see, you know what they're like. These are not nice people. I mean, technically speaking, they're not people at all. They're space aliens, but still, they're not nice. They know what they want, and they're going to go for it. And um, I don't have to tell you what space aliens want. Do I? What? Okay, so some of you are younger. Maybe you aren't aware of this, but space aliens are interested in precisely one thing. Would all of the older people please join me and just mouth the word? What space aliens are interested in is yes, I heard you saying it. Elvis. It is Elvis. That is the only thing they care about on this planet at all. I mean, you didn't see any UFOs before Elvis was around, did you? No. And if you plot where the UFOs are spotted where they show up, everywhere that Elvis has performed. 99% of all UFOs are spotted in the United States near his performance stages. It's pretty obvious. And the fact that they abducted him, I, you can't deny that, right? Nobody today can possibly deny what happened. I mean, we saw young Elvis. I mean, remember Elvis? Oh my God, I love Elvis. What do I mean? I ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Bum, bum, bum. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. I need the hips going. Oh God, he's incredible. You ain't ever got a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. You got this. Oh God, he was so incredible. And then suddenly he disappears from the stage and two years later, this fat, ugly, weird guy shows up in a sparkly contest and the liberal media expects us to assume that this is still Elvis. We know better than that. All of us, you saw articles in it all the time. People think that's not Elvis. No, 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 I have seen that's not Elvis. And because it isn't Elvis, Elvis was abducted by the space aliens. They took the memories of his songs, put them into some guy they found on the streets and let him go because they want. The Alturians love Elvis. There are literally billions of beings that are dying to have Elvis perform. So he is traveling all the way over this galaxy and now they want Elvis babies. Oh my God, you've heard all those abduction stories? What do you think they're doing? They're producing Elvis babies because Elvis babies will sell for over one billion Zlotnies. I mean, that's like owning a son of your own. So yeah, and you would think, you would think that a race that can create an intergalactic spaceship would be able to tell the difference between boys and girls, right? Blonde hair, that's all they think about. They look at Marilyn Monroe, they see Elvis, they think, okay, we'll make Elvis with that one. Hence, boom, up into the spaceship, and there I am with Elvis, and we're trying to explain to the space aliens that it doesn't work that way, we're not gonna get any babies out of this, and they are relentless, those space aliens. But, my only advice to you is to avoid all situations where you might be caught outside with blonde hair and there are UFOs flying around. Otherwise, well, actually, I mean, 
Elvis looks pretty good for his age, you know? And he was having a lot of fun. I mean, we were really having a good time together. So maybe it wouldn't be such a bad thing. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here is to the next alien abduction. May it be Elvis for you.